Howdy everyone, welcome to another episode of Played With Toys, I'm Jaime, and today we are taking a look at the Robot Spirit Side Labor Shaft Enterprise Europe Type 7 Brocken, Broken, something like that, R number 211, this was released last year, 2017, uh, but it's a really cool model, really enjoy, uh, really like it, and after having a couple of the other uh, side labors, I definitely wanted to kind of delve deeper into the line, and uh, really was satisfied with this figure so uh, again you know nothing's ever perfect but it's really really cool figure so especially for the price it's going right now I've seen it um, totally totally worth it so very happy to have it in my collection probably gonna get uh, at least another one or two of these guys so uh, very very cool but let's get on with the figure and check out the box so kind of with the simple styling uh, that the other ones have with you know the dots in the front I do like the style of this box because there's no it's you know windowless uh, very nice, you know, just white, and it's just very nice contrast uh, there because it's just always kind of a very plain background with this figure, just like boom right there. So nothing too fancy or anything, and the writing just you know stands out and very very cool, very simple. I like the sides, uh, you know, showing the showcasing the figure in dynamic positions, and then just also of course you know him just kind of just chilling there. So in the back, showing it with the Ingrams and some of the accessories it gets and uh, some of the different options and stuff like that and what you can kind of hose it and all that good stuff. So pretty cool, uh, you know, a glance into what you're going to get from the back and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and take a look at this figure. So this figure right here, uh, to me, is a really, really cool one. Um, I really like its curves and it's kind of uh, complementary with the other, uh, the shaft. Because um, the shaft has some more angles, while well, it also has a little, I think, curves, if I remember correctly. This one is, you know, more curved uh, throughout the entire figure. So I do like that, and it still kind of borrows some of the same articulation uh, from the shaft, which is fine with me. It's nice, you know, it kind of gives, it makes it seem like it's like part of a line. You know, they're both from the same manufacturer. So hey, that makes sense. Maybe that they would work the same way within the universe and also in figure form. So that's nice. Um, but totally like the sculpt, of course, you know, very, uh, there's, this doesn't come with a sticker sheet or anything, but that's fine, it doesn't need it. Uh, you know, you can see their shaft and just kind of like, pretty much a light, light kind of baby, I don't know, baby blue uh, with some black striping and then a very light green uh, under underneath the armor plates and some dark blue, uh, you know, out, kind of outliers around the elbows and, you know, uh, arms and all that stuff. And you've got these kind of struts in there which also look very cool, I like the struts, and they move around with the neck, so uh, it looks very nice, I like it from all angles, and you can see these, I don't know if these are antenna, some sort of like fins or something, maybe uh, thrusters back here, and I like that as well, and then also, oh, that doesn't go there, but, well it does go there, but <laughs> uh, it doesn't come with it, but there, that's how it, you know, kind of comes out of the box, and you see these, I don't know if these are supposed to be the lights, but just reflective, uh, you know, deals, but, uh, you know, they're there, so same with on the side there, and there's a little hole right there, which, you know, I'll tell you what that's for later on, but overall, you know, fairly well detailed, I don't think it's, uh, you know, it's not too crazy detailed, but at the same time, it's just, you know, very, it's not simple, it's just, or even basic, it's just, uh, I don't know what, it, I don't know what to call it, but, all right, so let's check out all of these accessories and everything, because you do get a pretty cool, like, little figure kit or weapons kit and stuff. First up we have the hands, so you get a pair of kind of like open support hands, a pair of trigger finger hands, a pair of maybe melee uh, holding hands, and also I think one to hold a larger weapon, kind of help hold a larger weapon, uh, can use, be used for that. And then a kind of close a pair of port hands, or maybe chopping hands, or you know smashing hands, or something, saluting hands, whatever you want to use them for. Um, they're all pretty much uh, very, they're all straight pegs, so very easy to plug in and out, and we'll go over that here in just a bit. But for now, you see these uh, really cool, like, little <laughs> kind of, like, lights and stuff. Now, this is so huge, it's not even funny because you put the car right here, which is, you know, the size of this thing. I mean, I don't, if I remember correctly, I, you know, I don't think it would be that tall, maybe. I feel like it would be, you know, I think this is a bit too tall scaling with this little car and stuff. So, but it can also be used as a melee weapon, and you just basically unplug it from this thing. Stick it right in his hand, and you can use uh, either hand, either this or the trigger. I think kind of the trigger finger hand. Um, so if you wanted to do that, just pop this off. And let's see, I'll grab that. And because you see there, it's kind of like a weird system. 
So just be kind of careful. You might have to kind of pull this out a little bit and angle this a little bit closer, uh, going kind of in, rather, so you can really push that in. Because and you want to be careful, of course, because these plugs are, you know, kind of tiny. <laughs> so, all right, there we go. All set. All right, so there he's got his trigger finger hands. I think trigger finger hands. I got that on there correctly? Yeah. So kind of like, because you know, it's a curved hand, so it's not, they don't sit exactly straight. But that's okay. It actually doesn't work out uh, too bad or anything like that. So we can go over that here in just a bit whenever I show you guys the weapons. But, you yeah. know. Pretty cool. You can hold this up and bash people over the head with this or other robots, whatever you want. And this little uh, grill here, not grill, or guard rail. Pretty nifty. Now that car, of course, does not come with it, and that was part of another uh, set, but it does come with this nifty gun. And this nifty gun has a bipod that can be used. Well, this unplugs for this if you want to lay them down, say. But we'll just leave this on for now. And the other thing that unplugs is this little back piece right here. We left a little hole, which will plug into this uh, wired, um, you know, bendy wire uh, attachment here. I'm assuming some sort of a, you know, energy or something or whatever cable for this gun, but it plugs right into this little piece right there, uh, right in the, in, the, in the middle. And you just want to plug it into the hand, of course. Whoop. Like so. And it's not too hard to get the weapons, and at least it shouldn't be, if I remember correctly. There we go. Alright, so trigger finger plugs right in, and you can have this kind of hanging out, maybe. Something like that. Something like that. Anyway, you get the idea. <laughs> so, you know, you can hold that pretty good. The weapon doesn't fall out or anything. And so I like that. And then, of course, it, this, there's kind of this, like this little handlebar that you can put the other hand with, depending on which direction you have it. I think if you have it facing the other way, it's probably easier uh, with the other hand. But, um, you know, that's how that works. So, And then, of course, you have the machine gun, little, like, kind of submachine gun which is pretty snazzy. I definitely like this little thing. You could even use this for other figures if you wanted. Give them a little submachine gun. So, I'm like, ooh, I could give this to one of my military guys, because I've got some military dudes that I always like giving custom little weapons to, but I don't know. He looks so cool with this that I kind of don't want to <laughs> remove it until I get some more. So, I do like this uh, submachine gun quite a bit. It's probably my favorite one. I like it better than the other one, definitely. So, you also get a couple other attachments. Um, this attachment is to plug into the Timashi, Timashi Nation's uh, Stage Act 5 base. And essentially, it's just a little cylinder. <laughs> and you just plug it right into the bottom of the base, or top of the base, rather. And then it would house, uh, it would be able to plug into this, I guess, for whatever reason, I guess. But it already comes with this, so I don't really see myself doing that. But I guess, hey, options, right? And then you, have, of course, have this little plug that I had plugged into him earlier. And that just goes into the back for the Tomashi Nation Stage Act uh, plug. So you can plug that in and have them supported and all that good stuff. So let's check out some articulation on the sucker. So in the pictures, they kind of show with the hands, with the arms more like this. But I kind of like to have it like this because they can be more straight. Um, but you do have that option. I mean, it's whatever you want. So. Uh, looking at the head, it's very interesting. It's not a very interesting system. You can see it's on this like very, it's on this curved uh, joint. It's like double wall peg joint. It's very crazy, with a little kind of covering over the loose uh, inner covering, and these struts go inside the head as well. So just do be careful. You don't want to break that. It's, I could see how that would possibly be an easy break um, if you aren't careful, but just you know, it plugs in very gently. Now, you're not going to get crazy amounts of articulation, but you can look down pretty good. You just can't look up super well. Like, again, you don't really want to pull on it. You can look side to side as needed and, you know, down and around for the most part. So, and then this piece right here also pops off to give you, I don't know if it's like damage or if they're, you know, their head's getting ripped off or something or if they shoot laser beams out of it, but 
pretty awesome nonetheless. I do like that little inner piece. Um, and then for this right here, these little antennas possibly, or I don't know if they're communication devices or, you know, whatever, but um, sensors or something, but they, you know, they move around. So pretty cool. And then this shoulder pads uh, obviously are, you know, not part of the uh, torso, so they, you know, come off and all that good stuff and uh, move around. And you've got this kind of butterfly action. Oops, something just fell down. This kind of butterfly action here, which looks really nice, I think. And, or works really nice, rather. So kind of, oh, it was the head. <laughs> there it went. All right, back to action. And now this, uh, so you get this crazy, like, extension. And then, of course, you get your uh, rotation there. And you don't have any rotation up here, but I'm just gonna leave that off right now for a second while I'm messing with these arms. Uh, this system right here kind of moves up and down. So that's where you're gonna get your up and down motion from, this like kind of rocker right there. So that's kind of interesting. And I think it does move back and forward a little bit too on its own. So in addition to this kind of forward moving system right here, you're gonna get further forward action on that. So that is really nice, very, very cool. And then you've got a swivel up here on the bicep. So I think the arms are really nicely articulated actually for their design. It's a little funky, right? But you know, they're very nice. And then you've got that bicep swivel. So then the armor, you know, goes pretty flush to the uh, torso. So that's nice. And now the hands are a little bit crazy uh, just because of the design. So you're not gonna get the most articulation or range there, but it's enough. I mean, you can, do some, you know, hunting poses very relatively very, very easy with this kind of figure, uh, just because of that or, you know, gun shooting poses, uh, very, very easy. So uh, that's not gonna be a problem for sure. And uh, so that, that's very nice. And with the torso here, it's, you've got double, uh, you know, jointing action going up here and it's kind of like weird system of a joint up there you see there's like a bar going across there and then going back up so very interesting don't want to break it don't want to pull on that too much but it's going to allow you some good upward movement like that and let's see if I can actually get this head to stay on this time right so good upper movement like that and then downward movement is is okay it's not really that good at all actually in fact so there they, they, it is looking straight on. So not the most, but it, you know, looking, cause it can look down. So that's fine. And side to side motion, you get plenty of, I think, uh, pivot, but you're not gonna get oh, obviously 360 degrees. So it's gonna be limited as far as this whole system down there is gonna allow it to go. But overall, pretty cool, I think for Mecca. And then we have this really nice system that's like the same as a shaft where you have this, uh, system that allows you to kind of pull out the legs maybe to give you some more extension like that inward so that's very interesting i think and then you've got that uh, swivel there where this meets down there so that's where you know, that's going to happen and then of course you've got that swivel there uh action so very interesting, very interesting uh, leg articulation system. I do like it, but uh, it's just, you know, just be careful. We don't want to break this, of course. So I think this one has some interesting articulation with that uh, in terms of sensitivity. So something I do urge caution. And then th this right here is pretty nice. I do like the, the system. It's not going to be all the way back, but, it, you know, it works. It's, it, it's good. And then the feet are pretty well done. Um, you're not gonna get a whole lot of side to side, I think, you can get some, um, and it pulls down. So there's that. There's some uh, nice, uh, yeah, nice toe pivot there. I think that's what that was, yeah. Just wanna make sure I'm not accidentally pulling that stuff off. It looks like it there, maybe not, hold on. Let's take a look here. I guess it's meant to act as a function as a toe pivot maybe, looks like. So, but this just kind of comes down, looks like. So this blue, light blue panel doesn't actually split or anything. It's just the dark blue. So pretty cool. Um, I do like it and yeah, so that actually works. Yeah, nice, works. Cool, cool. So I definitely like this figure. Um, 
again, I'm gonna, you know, I intend to be army building it, and I think that it is a worthy purchase. I do encourage you to buy it if you think that you are just looking to buy some more mecha or having some more robots or whatever. Uh, it is fine. It's gonna scale about the same size as your robot Damashi, regular robot Damashi, and all that stuff, like a you know, typical gun cannon, maybe a little bit taller. Um, but you know, it's it's a cool, fun, a fun figure, and it's uh, it's weird. I mean, obviously, if you're a fan of the show, then you probably this is something you want to pick up. But uh, even if you're not, you know, you might want to check it out. If you like robots, I like robots. <laughs> That's why I got it, but uh, and I'm not disappointed in, in the slightest. So very very cool. Uh, but anyway, guys, y'all take it easy and thanks for watching. Take care.